So I'm starting off right where I left off yesterday. I went ahead and I vacuumed the walls because there was like a bunch of sawdust and just like some cobwebs and a little bit of dirt on the sheetrock because it kind of sticks in there. So I just took the shop vac, I went over the whole So now that that's done, the next thing that I need to do is go over every square inch of this place and, you know, clean up this kind of thing where there's just like dents and the sheetrock and then I have nail holes and there's also a lot of this kind of thing where there's two pieces of sheetrock meet and they put tape over it. So I don't really care for that all that much. So I'm going to cover that up the best I can. So because none of these walls have any texture on it and it's just the sheetrock, I'm not really too worried about the end result looking like a room. There's obviously going to be some spots where I just can't get it to be, you know, super perfect and I'm fine with that. Oh, actually, I don't think I've shown you this. This is everything that was over here. So I have, you know, a lot of the main tools here and then I just threw all the crap on top and then I put the lumber rack over here. I moved this bench over here. That was on wheels which was really nice. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to say was in a couple videos ago, I asked you guys to say in the comments, Morgan is a good painter. There were, I don't know, probably 10 of you guys that did that and I showed that to her the other day and she thought that was really funny. So for all you guys that did that, good job. She really appreciates it. So this is the faculty stuff that I'm gonna use to fill in all the holes. It looks like ice cream. <laughs> when I do this, it will motivate you to clean that so then we can paint that. <laughs> Fast forward about, I don't know, an hour maybe, and I have this section of the wall done. So I went all the way to right here. There were these tape lines where the two pieces of sheetrock meet, and you can kind of see those right along there. But this will be covered again by the lumber rack, and the tool wall will be right here. So that's not really a big issue. This is what it looks like when you haven't moved your fridge in 10 years. <laughs> At least the fridge acts as a tripod. Bam! This is day one. Alright, so today is the second day that I'm out here. So here's kind of where we're at. So this is a two car garage bay right here and then this is a single car garage. You've probably figured that out by now. Where I'm gonna stop is right here along this beam that runs up to there. That's where I'm gonna stop. You can see that I've done this section here and I just need to do that section. And then for the lights, I think I'm gonna just take the hooks off. I'm not gonna unscrew those. And I also taped off the rails for the garage door. I did put the switch plate covers on over there and over there and I moved the fridge back. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at today. I cleaned up the floor. I also put some newspaper on the workbench. So just in case paint drips, it's not gonna get on the workbench top. So cover that up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start from this end and I'm gonna work my way that way. Oh, 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 oh,
So what I'm kind of learning, doing this whole process of painting, you know, it's important to take breaks. I, I don't want to overwhelm myself or injure myself. That That's actually really, really helped me when doing this. So for example, you know, I did this section right here and then I took a break and I did this section right here. And seriously, for any of you guys who are professional painters and do that for a living, I have mad respect for you guys now. Honestly, this is really hard work and pretty exhausting doing this. So yeah, let's keep going. So check this out, this is kind of handy, so I put the tray where the paint goes, I stuck that in my vise because it has these little feet on it that normally tilt the tray like this when it's on the ground, but I put those in the vise and that way it stays in there nice and sturdy when I'm rolling the paint on. This is actually working out really great when I'm doing the ceiling. I actually did the section where the light is so that then, so I can leave that up and still paint around it. I'm done! Alright guys, there it is. Totally done. Got into the corners, above the lights, behind the water heater, above the garage, yada 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 yada. I'm so tired right now. Oh, yep, yeah, I have paint on my face. Yeah, the ceiling was a lot harder to do than the walls because you were in like an awkward position and you're, I, I just don't, I've painted my room a couple times when I was younger, but this was the biggest thing that, that I've done. So this is where the numbers really come in handy because now I know exactly where each one goes. What? I'm tired. All right, time to go take a shower. All right, so after three days of hard work, this is what the current shop looks like. I have everything back now. All of this is gone. My parents were able to park their cars back in here. I was able to put everything back. Not permanently, there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to go back and I need to button up a couple things and put away some little stuff. Wiring is going to take a probably a couple days to do. I might do a video or two on the way I do this because I'm kind of picky about the way stuff is set up. I'll talk about that in another video, but I pretty much put everything back in the same exact place. I have the parts to the shopsmith kind of down here. I have some more scrap wood. This is turning into a shop tour. You've seen this and got some Christmas stuff I need to put back over there. So yeah, it's a lot, lot nicer in here now. The walls, oh, I, I just love it guys. I, I really do. The camera really doesn't do justice to what it looks like for me. I'm really, really happy with the way this whole project came out. You know, I actually have school tomorrow, so I'm really glad that I got this out of the way. And right here, I know it looks pretty bare, but there's gonna be a tool wall right there. I'm gonna put some stuff over there. Maybe even, where's my finger? Right above the garage, I might do something. The sign, this sign right here, I'm going to put above this wall right here or above this door. And one thing I'm also looking into is a light, like a directional, like maybe a ring light, or maybe just like a disc or, or some sort of light that I can attach to my rig that I'm holding right now. Because the main spot where I can stand really is right here. 
I mean, if I were to walk over here, you can see that it's really dark. Or if I were to stand, bear with me, over here like this, that's not very good either. So I have like right here and like right here. These are like the main spots. You know, I can't be standing over here. So maybe a light that comes directional, like straight, straight towards my face when I'm talking to you, that might help. That might help with a little bit more light, you know, coming towards my face and coming towards like this area. Because right now, this is like the main spot where I can stand. So yeah, I know there was quite a lot that went into this video. So please go down and give it a big thumbs up, guys. I really, really do appreciate that. And also while you're down there, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment if you have a opinion on the way this turned out, if you have some other feedback for me, or if you even have any advice as to how I could make this even a little bit better. You know, I'm really trying to up the quality of these videos for you guys, and that that is all going towards you. You know, it costs me money, but then when I edit it and I put out the video, it makes me really, really happy. Like getting this camera, painting the walls, doing all these things, getting a laptop and improving my editing. All of these things are really going towards you guys and you know I've only been doing YouTube for a couple months now but I I'll tell you what I'm really enjoying the process of making a video, putting it out and talking to you guys. I really just appreciate that. So, so I know I'm rambling on a little bit here but that's really all I have to say for this one guys. I know there was a lot that went into it so and I will see you guys in the next video. This looks better, why don't I just stand here for the whole video? You wanna make it